Wednesday's been adopted! Yay! Congratulations! Yes! We finally found our little girl! Whoa! You scared us! Anyway, it's nice to meet you! Let him go! Well, that's one lively greeting! We take it back! We're not taking home that scary girl! Oh man! This adoption was a fail! For the hundredth time! Run for your lives! What was that about? Oh well, let's go get our new child! We'd be happy to take Wednesday! Such a sweet girl! We got you a teddy bear! Do you like it? Are you sure about this? Huh? Uh-oh, is that a bomb? There's no time left! No, no, no! What? Yes, yes. Three, two, one. Will they still like Wednesday after that explosion? I'm alive! Another failed adoption. Huh? She's perfect! That was so funny, dear! What? Let's go home! Wow. I can't believe it! She's finally gone! Thank heavens! Wednesday is doing her signature hair braid! But Enid replaced the hair tie with a pink one! This is not going to end well! Left braid looks good. Right braid is… pink? Gotcha! I want to give you a makeover! Check out my beauty box! There are so many makeup products! Let's start with a blush on! Not interested! How about a little tiara? No! Oh! How about lipstick? What is he doing? Huh? Oh no! Things smushed Enid's lipstick! What? Humph! Fine! Finally, I can get rid of this. I need to sleep. Now's my chance! It's makeover time! I've gotta choose the brightest colors! This is gonna be great! You'll see! Everyone seems to be having a good time at breakfast, especially Enid! Here comes Wednesday! What? <laughs> Pretty, right? What? What is it? Are these… hair clips? And pink makeup? What have you done to my face? Grrr! It wasn't me! Huh? Even Thing got a pink makeover! Traitor! Happy birthday, Wednesday! I got you a present! Open it! Is this a pink scarf? Seriously? I knitted it myself! Do you like it? Huh? huh? Why is the cake moving on its own? Could it be a bomb? It's Thing! That was a very messy birthday surprise! Guess we're skipping the blow the candles part! Yum! Dig in! But it's so messy and sticky! I'll clean it up. This is what the ugly scarf is meant to do. You've got something on your face, too. Ugh! You're so mean! I hate you! Well, it's just another sibling fight! A bubble bath for a bright and bubbly girl! I should probably shave my legs! Oh dear! Being a werewolf really makes you hairy! Ew! Look at all this hair! Ah, oh, so relaxing! Especially with good music! Wednesday needs a bath too! But it seems the bathtub will be occupied for a while! Uh-oh! I know that evil smile! Somebody had time to go fishing! When the sun goes down and the moon comes up… Ah! It's a piranha! No! So gullible! It's fake, see? It's school time! I wonder how Wednesday will do on her first day! I'll show you our lockers! This is yours beside mine! Twinnies! 
This is revolting. All this pink and cuteness. What about inside? More pink? This is making me nauseous. What is she gonna do with spray paint? Time to redecorate. Plain black? Well, simplicity is beauty, I guess. Oh, look at my crush, Joshua. OMG, it's him! I watched your game last Friday. It seems Joshua has his eyes on somebody else. Could he be crushing on Wednesday? What is he looking at? Move over. Hi, pretty girl. Nice to meet you. Leave before I break your hand. I just want a handshake. That's a handshake indeed. Your hand feels soft. See you around. See you. Wait, whose hand is this? Oh, oh Joshua, my love. You're so handsome. What's this? OMG, are you a stalker? Why are you so mean? <laughs> Did you see her face? Let's go! Oh, it's you! Those bullies were making fun of me! Bullies? Leave them to me. What a weirdo! I bet she'll cry when I tear this photo apart. Uh-oh, is Thing going to push the trash bin onto the bullies? Huh? What is this? Ah! Help me! Wait up! Something's tickling my head. Ah! That was so funny! Oh, thanks, sis. No, no hugs. Oh, fine. I guess you're welcome, sis. Welcome to the school talent show! Joshua is up first with his questionable singing skills. Beautiful girls all over the world. He's so talented. I think that's enough. Please take your seat. Joshua, you were amazing. Of course. Enid, you're up next. OK, teacher. My talent is that I knitted all these clothes. Do you like it? Really? Bravo! So embarrassing. With that, I give you an A. Yay! Yay! Wednesday, it's your turn. OK, I'll show you real talent. A bow and arrow? Whoa! Whoa. Watch out, guys! That arrow is quite a traveler. And it's got pinball moves. Stop! No! A perfect shot! That was indeed marvelous! A round of applause for Wednesday! That's amazing! You get an A+. Plus. How come I didn't get a plus on my A? It seems Wednesday's in deep concentration. I will find you. I see she's back at it, writing horror stories. Thing, hello? Why isn't he responding to my snaps? Ugh! What the? <gasps> Looks like the family is in the middle of spa time. Hi, dear. <laughs> huh? How do you like the massage, sir? Let's add a bit more lotion. Turn around, please. Ew, what a big zit. I'm afraid we have to pop it. Oh my, that's a lot of pimple pus. Ew. Whoa, you scared me. Thing. Sorry, I just wanted a little spa time. Wednesday, why don't you join us? Yeah, it's our bonding time. No. But look at that. You have a giant zit on your forehead. Gee, you don't have to announce it to the world. I know. Just put on a face mask. What? Now the cucumber. Let's see the result. Thank gosh the pimple is gone. I mean, whatever. How do you like my new claws? They look amazing! Wow. What? You couldn't even get black ones? I have a feeling today is gonna be a good day. Rise and shine, ladies! I can't wait for school! 
I can't wait to smash this annoying clock. Much better. What a great morning! What outfit should I wear today? What to wear? Ah, there's my favorite color. Even Thing has his own closet of gloves. Move! It's my turn at the mirror! You move. No, you! Uh-oh! Look what you've done to my dress! Hey! Well, look what you've done to my face! Grr! Girls, you're gonna be late for your first class! Thank goodness Thing managed to stop the fight! He really comes in handy! Girls, here are your lunch boxes! This is for Enid! So adorable! Thanks, Mom! And this is for Wednesday! A headstone! My favorite! What about Thing's lunch? Hand it over! Oh, right! Here you go! A tiny lunchbox! Hurry up! Enjoy your school day, ladies! Yay! Is Aria trying to do the Wednesday dance? She looks just like a robot! <laughs> Watch this! Excuse me, you're in my way! Whoa! And into the trash can she goes! I'm so embarrassed! <laughs> Ew, this is so smelly! I look like a mess right now! Ugh! What's this sticky thing? Oops, I didn't mean that. Let me clean it up. Boo. Who is that? I came to give you something. A coffin? I hope there's no skeleton inside. This must belong to Wednesday herself. Huh? Where did she go? I guess I better check out this box then. Let's see. What's inside? No! There's so much cool stuff! Yay! Oh! I'm gonna start off with my hair! My hair is so stubborn! I give up! Ah! I feel so hopeless! Huh? That tickles! Look who is here to help! Thing is very strong, even if he's just a hand. See? He can move the hairbrush all on his own! And now for that small comb! Wow! You fixed my hair! This is so amazing! But something's still missing! Aha! I have an idea! Look at these long pieces of crepe paper! Roll them up and cut them into strips, then drop them in a bowl of water! It's mixing time! It's gonna turn into a hair dye! Now Arya can dip her hair in! I feel like I'm at a salon! I think that's enough! Wow! I'm starting to feel more like myself! Wait, I have a better idea! Braids! Now this is more like my style! Okay, let's see what's next in the beauty box! What's this weird thing? Is it a mustache shaper? Let me try it! I'm not sure if that's for a mustache! We're trying to be Wednesday Adams here, not Gomez! This is actually pretty cool! Hold on… Thing is here to tell you that it's for your eyebrows! Oops, I didn't know that! You mean like this? Oh wow, I think it's working! Eyebrows on fleek! So cool! The only way to achieve the cat eye look is with the help of a cat's tail! Use it as a guide to draw a wing! Just like that! And now you've got the sharpest eyeliner ever! Thing approves! What's next? Eyeshadow? You're gonna make Thing sneeze! I'm starting to look like Wednesday! Wait, what about my clothes? Maybe I have something good in my closet? Let's see… Eh, too colorful! Too bright! Everything's vibrant! What is she going to do now? Uh, is the curtain moving? What? Thing has an idea! It's time to improvise! Let's get this party started! I'm gonna turn this curtain into a dress! From this time forth, I shall be called Wednesday. All these happy things are boring me. I'm not tickled. Look at this doll's fiery red hair. It's hurting my eyes. And what kind of shallow fashion is this? It's time to change things up. 
to start off, remove all the shiny accessories before they burn Wednesday's eyes. Then clean her face up with a black toothpaste. It's charcoal flavored, just like Wednesday's favorite. Oh! Give it a good massage. And now wipe it off with a sponge. So fresh! I hate that colorful makeup. We have to remove that too. Start with the eyebrows, and then the freckles. It's not just a makeup remover, it's a face remover! What have you done to the doll's face? Top it all off with a foam. And now even her eyes are gone! This will have to do for now. I have to fix her hair first. Straighten it up a bit, because I hate those fun curls. It should be straight like mine. It still needs more work. I know. The doll needs her hair dye, too. Pour some conditioner in a bowl and mix it up with black ink. There's no other color but black, of course. La la la, what a fun day! Oops, I tripped! You're heading straight into the pool of misery. There we go. I think that's enough of a soak for the day. Let's get you up. Perfect black hair. But I'd rather she looked a little bit paler. White paint is the key. Sponge it all over the doll's body until she's entirely covered in white. Braid her hair, too, and start drawing her face back on. Don't worry, Wednesday isn't cruel enough to leave her without a face. <laughs> but of course, her new face has to be made of dark colors only. Give those eyes a little detail. And add a little bit of shine to that. Just a bit will do. This doll just became an exact replica of Wednesday. Thing wants to say you did a good job. Wednesday's old room is a little too colorful for her liking. Better get rid of all that cute stuff and replace it with skeletons and skulls. They're more fun. Who needs these absurd colorful posters? I must replace them too. Ew, too much pink. Now that's better. What are you looking at? Aha, uh -huh, this is giving me an idea. All this white is giving me a headache. So I'm going to cover this stool with cardboard. But I'm not done yet. I will make it extra special by adding a backrest. No, it's not a bamboo tree. It's a unique style. Now I'm going to paint it black, of course. No brown should be left behind. Look at my beautiful throne. I am the queen of gloom. What is Thing doing? I think he's trying to send Wednesday a message. What on earth? This lamp is too soft and sweet. Thing has a suggestion. Oh, spiders. I know what you mean. This will help me achieve my dark aesthetic. Phew, this is not for people with arachnophobia. But for girls like Wednesday, insects can make good decorations. Sticking them all together makes a better lampshade. It's ready. This lampshade is going to cause so many jump scares. Oh, what a beautiful rose. I hate it. I only want the black stem. There. I'm gonna put it up on the wall. Here's another rose. Well, I don't think Wednesday's going to change her mind. Now is not the time to be romanced. She only cares about the stems. Who could blame her? Look what a nice wall decoration they make. Huh? What is this rope for? It summons a bed net, apparently. Look at Wednesday's new room. Those bats will keep her company at night. And all these trinkets must be cursed. I'm sure she will sleep peacefully in a room like this. She is the queen of darkness, after all. Ah, I love brewed coffee. I better get ready for school. I'm going to bring my doll with me. Thing has something to say. What? You want to come with me? I think he finds your bag ridiculous. He doesn't want to go inside. Whatever. Well, you're right. It's garbage. Oh, look at these felt sheets. It's crafting time. 
After cutting the sheets into these shapes, glue them together. And add a zipper on top. Cover up the back. Now her bag looks like a gravestone. Thing is more happy to go inside. Don't forget your mini doll. It's time to go to school. Brace yourselves, darkness is coming. <laughs> These girls won't be laughing any longer. Wednesday is coming. Huh? Is that Wednesday? Hey girls, I have a surprise for you. What's inside? Why don't you see for yourself? It's a flood of spiders! Ah! No! It's crawling up! I can't take this! I like revenge served with a warm side of pain. Layla wants to eat an apple, but she has a toothache. Her tooth is moving! My tooth hurts! I can't bite! We're gonna have to slice the apple then. Come with me. Just stand right there. An apple on her head? I have a bad feeling about this. Now stay still. OMG, a bow and arrow? I'm so scared! Here I go. Can she do it? Oh, phew! I can't imagine what would have happened if she'd hit the wrong thing. OMG, what are you doing? You could have hurt her! At least I cut the apple. Am I alive? Are you okay? Gosh, I'll show you how to safely slice an apple. Come with me. First, we're gonna need a chopping board. And our very own apple cutter. All you need to do is press the cutter down on the apple, and you get instant slices. Here, safe and easy. No need to risk our lives. It's cleaning duty for Nanny Enid today. Look at all these messy clothes. No! Oh my gosh! Oops! Help me! Oh, Layla. She doesn't know how to properly fold her clothes. Good thing Enid has a gadget for that. Unfold the gadget on a flat surface and lay a shirt on top. Fold the sides, then the bottom. And there you have it, a neatly folded shirt. Let's do one more because this is just so fun to do. There, all done. Wow, my closet is so neat and tidy. Thanks to the gadget, right? What is going on here? Colorful clothes? This is absurd. Is that a bomb? Uh-oh, someone's closet is about to explode. We better start running. This is gonna be fun. All her stuff turned black. That must have been a black bomb. This is what you're gonna wear from now on. Black dress, black shoes. Got it? Look at this girl. She looks exactly like Wednesday. Double me, double the darkness. <laughs> Whoa, is this a vampire's castle? Wait, it's just Layla's room. What is Wednesday doing? The best way to fall asleep is to engulf yourself in darkness. This coffin is where you shall rest in peace. No way! Is Layla really going to sleep in a coffin? Huh, this is actually comfortable. So long, friend. Wait, don't close it! La la la! Huh? No! Stop! What are you thinking? Layla won't be able to breathe in there. Go to your bed, Layla. Such a foolish concern. Here, I've got you a unicorn blanket. Wow, it's so soft! It's laughable is what it is. At least I get to take this warm cot. And Enid finally puts Layla to sleep with a good old fairy tale story. This is how you properly sharpen a knife. Here, you try it. Uh, I don't think a child should be doing that. Ow! It's just a tiny cut. You need a magnifying glass to see it. Ha, huh, how shallow. I have an idea. A wound tattoo? There, now you have a bigger wound. A bigger wound? Okay then. Hey, oh my gosh! Nanny Enid couldn't handle the huge cut on Layla's hand. Nanny, wake up! It's just a tattoo to cover up a very small cut. Phew. 
Oh, I have a better idea. Tape? Oh, that could remove the huge, nasty tattoo. Finally, it's all gone. Now for the tiny cut. I have wound spray to treat that. And a fun fairy tale band aid to cover it. Nanny Enid did a great job treating Layla's wound. But it's Layla who deserves a lollipop for being a brave girl. Thank you, Nanny! Yay! It's time for Layla to clean up all her messy toys. I don't want to! Your teddy bear will explode if you don't clean up. What? Sorry! I promise I'll clean now! Time is ticking! You better start now! Please, Nanny! Not my teddy! What's going on? OMG! A bomb? Nanny Enid is here to save the day with scissors! Time is running out! It stopped! Thank gosh that was the right wire to cut! But Layla still needs to clean up her toys, and Nanny Enid has a trick in mind! Watch this! Shoot the toys into the basket just like hockey! That looks fun! Let me try it! Goal after goal! Three points for Team Layla! Good job, Layla! Now that you've scored all the goals, let's put this away! And the teddy is safe, too! Candies! Layla's favorite snack! Come on! Not so fast! Huh? You should eat a salad instead! Ew! No way! Wednesday looks busy reading her book, but Layla is up to something! What's up with her toy? Huh? Wednesday is having a vision! Looks like there's an operation going on here! The toy is stable! He's just getting stitched up now! Oh no! He's flatlining! It's up to Dr. Wednesday to save him! Did it work? Yes! Now for my favorite part! Cutting him open! I like to see the beauty of his insides! That looks like a full stomach! Whoa, his gooey insides are just flowing out! It seems something else is making the toy sick. He needs tweezers for this one. Let's see what's inside. Ugh, a worm! Rainbow vomit! Wait a minute, this looks like Layla's favorite candy. Busted. What a wild vision! Give me that. I know what you're hiding. You won't fool me. Something is inside this toy. Wow! Somebody's got a secret candy stash! The secret has been spilled! Literally! <laughs> no! My candies! I can't believe you fooled me! This is all going to the trash! What a waste! I can't believe the candies are just being thrown away! Poor Layla! Or not! What's with the evil smile? Oh, you sneaky girl! More secret stashes! Something woke Layla up! Could it be a monster inside the closet? Look at those sharp claws! He's coming out! Ah! What's happening? Ha! Showtime's over! Wednesday! We were just getting to the good part. Leave! It's okay, it was just silly Wednesday. Go back to sleep. Wait, don't leave me! I'm still scared! Well… Oh, I know what to do! This is like a magic show! There has to be an endless tool scarf in there! Or a mountain of it! Enid has some crafting ideas! She's hooking it up to the ceiling! This is gonna be good! Wow, a curtain! Just like a princess bed! This will protect Layla from scary monsters! I love it! Oh, a yummy orange lollipop! But Layla is having tooth problems! How can she eat her lollipop then? We remove the root of the problem. But those pincers are so scary! This will be quick and easy. What? No! Stop it! Phew! Are you crazy? I'm calling a dentist! Yes, please! Come right away! I'm here! I'm here! Is the dentist okay? Let me see those teeth! I see! It's a broken tooth! That was an easy pull! 
Success! Here you go! Cool! It's so small! The Tooth Fairy will love this! <laughs> Why do I look like this? Oh, Jack. How can I make you fall in love with me? I want to dance with you at the ball. But how can I when I look like this? Huh? Duck and cover! There's an earthquake! Wait, it's just her cousin It! Ah! Stop popping up like that! Will you help me dress up for the gothic ball? I'm here to help you with your dilemma! Wow, look at all this cool gothic stuff! Let's start! Oh shoot, there are only three hours left before the ball! Wednesday needs to get rid of all the bright colors on her face! That won't do for a gothic ball! It's time to give you a makeover! Let's start with a makeup remover mask! This black liquid must overpower all that disgusting pink glitter! We have to apply a thick layer of it! Whoa! It peeled everything off! It's not over yet! You still have to remove your lipstick and eyeshadow with some foam! Yikes! Those pimples are a problem! I can just pop them. And there goes the squirt gun! Oops, sorry. What's this? It's the best gadget for your naughty fingers! Squeeze all you can! What you need are these pimple patches. Just place one of these on each of your pimples. This better work. Wow, I'm so flawless now! My skin has never been smoother. Looks like some black magic is brewing here! Licorice candies and Coca-Cola are first in the mix! Now some spiders and rose petals! He loves me, he loves me not! Black glitter is the most important thing of all! What is that? Just sit down! Now dip your hair into the pot! Here goes nothing! This is just like diving! Wow! Your concoction worked! Yay! Huh? What did you do to my head? Oh, it's a special way to blow dry. Cut a hole in the plastic and insert the hair dryer inside. Are you trying to make me float? Now finish it off with two nice hair bands. This is nice. I love it. Thank you, It. Where do we put these brushes? We need an extra hand. Hurry up, guys. Two hours left. Oh, no. Oh, wait! It's time to use my secret stash! First, pour the alginate into a container. And then dip your hand in. Don't worry, it won't be too long before you can take your hand out. And pour the plaster in. Just fill it to the brim. The hand figure is done! Hold on! It's starting to move! <gasps> what? This thing is alive! I think it's trying to break free! Who could blame him? All that plaster must be so itchy! Huh? OMG! It's alive! Hey, wait for me! It's time to do Wednesday's makeup! Thing is here to help! Okay, let's do this. Wait. Jack has a pale face. Brown won't work. And all the things I have here are in shades of brown. I need to look pale! Ugh! Now pour the milk before you stare. Somebody's being sneaky over here. He just needs a little bit of flour. Keep stirring until we reach this consistency. And now we add the… Where's the flour? You're back. And he's back with a present. We gotta improvise for now. If there's no white powder, use flour instead. Oops! Watch out for the mess, though! A little more here… <coughs> now that's the shade I need. I'm starting to get the hang of this. It's safe to say the old Wednesday is out of the picture now. Let's not waste those ashes. They could be useful for something. Like an eyeshadow. Whoa, that dark glare! I have a cat stencil for you! Only this kitty can give you that cat eye! Perfect! Look at Thing batting his eyelashes! Ah! These are mine now. You don't even have eyes. Now I can lure my crush in with this gaze. 
Fang can have eyebrows instead, as compensation for stealing his lashes. This look isn't so bad, but I need pouty lips. I have just the thing for that. Take all these lipstick products. Oh, thanks. Let me try. Of course, we need a touch of black. Add a little bit of red in there and blend both colors together. She's ready for a gothic smooch. Oh, wow. Look at those duck lips. You look silly. <laughs> My makeup looks perfect. Oh no, I made a mess. And there's only one hour before the ball. She needs a new outfit. Come on, there's gotta be something here. Oh. I know what to do. Maybe we still have time for a little bit of tie-dye. Let it soak for a bit and voila. Instant black dress. I don't think this suits me. I need another option. I'm not in the mood for the cat games. Next, I'm going to a ball, not heading to bed. I think Thing likes the new look. <laughs> it looks good on you. Ugh, I'm not wearing this. Now this is more like it. Thing approves. Yes, that's the one. I'm almost ready. Oh no, 30 minutes left before the ball. What else do I need? My nails are still pink. Don't worry. I have black nail polish for you. Great. This is pretty easy to use. All you have to do is spray all over your nails. Just gonna wipe the excess off. Oh, it needs more glam. For the final touch, add stickers to your nails so you can really nail that grunge look. Huh? Look at those horrifying stickers. I'm starting to feel darkness coursing through my veins. The party is in full swing already! Hey, who's that girl? It's Wednesday! She's ready to spread gloom around the room! And also get Jack's attention! But where is he? Hey! Huh? What the… Is that… Jack turned into a soft boy! Hi. Aw, you changed yourself for me? Yeah, because I really like you. Oh, what a plot twist. This calls for a happy dance. Wow, look at those moves. Look at Jack's eyes. He sees no one else in the room but her. Give him a nice little parade, why don't you? If Jack isn't in love yet, he definitely will be with those eyes. OMG, will they finally kiss? Wednesday is so hungry. I know. I have my meal right here. What? Come here. Ah, don't eat me! Ma'am, your bloody steak is ready. I want something else. All right. It's gonna be hard to satisfy a pregnant lady's cravings. But maybe this array of dark foods will be enough? Not dark enough. Find something else. What a tough job for the butler. It's time to pull out the recipe book. Let's see… Huh? I want a cake. Huh? A cake? I see. You got it. Blueberry cake coming right up. Of course, the steak and the fish have to go on top. It needs more dark sprinkles and whipped cream. What kind of concoction is this? Nom. Excuse my manners. She finished it all in one bite. Pregnant people scamming. What was that? Something's falling on Ken's face. Barbie? Is that you? OMG, is Barbie possessed? I'm still hungry. Here, I have some chips with me. They're all yours. Food! Yum, yum, yum. Uh oh, the bag is empty already. I need more food. A salad? No. Pasta? Disgusting. Oh, what about sushi? Ew, I don't like it. Ken is running out of options. Ice cream and a can of fish? I want the ice cream. Hold on. I want that can of fish, too. Fish as an ice cream topping? A pregnant lady's palate never fails to astound me. At least she's happy now. What a busy day today for our little writer. She must be writing a horror story. 
Meanwhile, the butler is preoccupied with cleaning. Let me clean this skull. Oh no! Ugh. Just a normal reaction. Good thing the glass didn't break. <laughs> How about a beautiful rose to make up for it? What the? You know what I want. An axe? Oh right, I forgot. She wants me to cut off the petals. She only wants the stem. Now that looks better. Did Wednesday just smile? It's real! This is not good. Wednesday never smiles. Run, butler! Where do you think you're going? Aw, she just wants a hug. Uh-oh, it seems Barbie is not in a good mood today. Is that a soda? Give me one. This? Hurry up and give me a can. Gosh. Okay, let me open this. Huh? Oh no, her nail snapped off. Stay alert, Ken. <laughs> Are you okay? That was so funny. <laughs> uh, I guess it is kind of funny. <laughs> funny. All right, time to drink. Huh? My nail snapped off. <laughs> there goes the sudden change of mood. Oh, let's hope Barbie will be consoled with flowers. For me, you're so sweet. The smell. I think I'm gonna puke. Gross. It seems Barbie is sensitive to the smell of flowers. Ooh, that was embarrassing. Oh well, I'm thirsty now. She seems all right to me. <laughs> It's time for the baby's checkup. It's too early for this noise. OMG, look at your belly. So cute. Uh-oh, Wednesday is getting irritated. Wow, you really stood up so we could touch it better, huh? That's it. The butler is here. I smell trouble. What's inside the suitcase? That looks like a torture device. But it seems to be protecting Wednesday's belly well. Ah! What was that? Now everybody who touches Wednesday's belly gets electrocuted! How smart! Pregnant bellies are the best! Barbie is getting so annoyed! Ken is here! Maybe he can do something! Hi! Fix this! Fix what? Get rid of them! Oh, right! Ladies, who wants muffins and fruits? Boring! We don't want that! Bribery didn't work! What else can Ken try? He's up to something! Ow! I hurt my knee! <laughs> Cute little tummy! That didn't work either. But props to good acting, Ken. <laughs> there has to be another way. Hey guys! I'm Barbie number two! And I have a pregnant belly! Oh my gosh! A pregnant belly! We have to touch it! The real Barbie is relieved. Ah, finally, peace! Thank you, my Ken! Ken really took one for the team! What are you doing? Nothing. It seems like the butler is hiding something. He really doesn't want to show it to Wednesday. What is it? Look, it's Thing. Everything's good. I see. Now I can show it to you. A gender reveal pinata. Here's a baseball bat. How boring. I'd rather use this club with spikes. Ha! So many spiders. It's a girl. This can't be. I don't want a girl. Now it's a boy! Even the spiders are scared of upsetting Wednesday. It's Barbie's gender reveal party! Is her baby going to be a boy or a girl? Ken is here to reveal for us in the form of confetti. Please be a girl! Huh? How do you operate this? Looks like there's a delay going on here. This confetti just won't get popped. Everybody's getting impatient. Come on! This is ridiculous. Gimme, I'll do it. Yes, pop it! Here it goes! It's a girl! Barbie got her wish! Whoa! I am so happy! Yay! Ken's getting all choked up. But not because of the gender reveal. I think he might have eaten some confetti there. Wednesday is ready for her ultrasound, but the doctor is too busy reading a magazine. You won't notice me? Then I'll make you. <laughs> My arm! Ouch! Hi there, doctor. You devil! Fine, let's get this over with. Something's wrong. Why is nothing appearing on the screen? 
just let me tap this. There he is. Oh my, dynamite? He looks fine. Huh? What's this? What an explosion! You messed with the wrong family, Doc. Like mother, like son, indeed. I'm so proud of you, baby boy. Barbie is about to have an ultrasound. Just lie down. I'm so nervous. This gadget won't hurt. Hurt my hand, Ken? Whoa, her grip is so tight. Ow! My hand! My hand, my hand! She just ripped his arm off. Oops. It's okay. It won't hurt if it's detached. Here I go. Let's see how your baby is doing. Huh? Hello, everyone. Am I seeing things? Oh, how adorable. Even Wednesday is having trouble sleeping. Her pregnant belly is making her back ache. Ugh, I can't take this anymore. Do you need help? I can put up a few pillows for you. Let's hope these fluffy cushions will work. At least they're all black and white, so that must make Wednesday happy. Nope, it's not working. <sighs> a knife? What is she planning to do? I'm sorry, I tried to help. I don't think that knife is for you, butler. It's for the bed. Wednesday seems to be making a hole in the mattress. Is she trying to take its heart out for making her uncomfortable? Oh, I see. The circle is the perfect shape for her belly. Look how snug it is. Yay! Now she can finally get that peaceful sleep. Barbie seems to be struggling to fall asleep. It's so uncomfortable. Aha! Uh -huh. Give me that pillow. Ah, now that's better. What was that? I can't sleep. It's so uncomfortable. I know what you need. Your favorite sprinkled donut. Oh, you know me so well. A donut, hmm? Oh, I have an idea. I have an inflatable donut. Hey, this is not food. It's for your stomach. Go on and lie your big belly in the hole. Wow, this is so comfortable. I need to pee. Yikes! You're definitely puking before anything else. Hey, come here. Yes? Explain this. Oops, sorry. Ugh, just go away. It's experiment time. Dr. Wednesday is in, just like a cool scientist. Uh-oh, those chemicals look dangerous. I'm going to pour this green toxic liquid, then mix it with a blue portion. Now to top it off with a serum. There's the reaction I've been craving. Let's hope this will help clean the toilet and kill all those germs. It worked. Just flush it, and the toilet is as good as new. Pouring the chemical solution into a wine glass? Mmm, it tastes as toxic as my brain. I love it. What's that smell? It's coming from the toilet. Pregnant ladies really have sensitive noses. Clean the toilet. It's sparkly clean. But it's not dirty. I said clean it. Right, go on it. Pour some cleaning liquid in the toilet. Make sure to get it in all the corners where the stink resides. Throw in a bath bomb, too, to really achieve that nice fragrance. Look, it's working. Even add in some lemon slices to mix with the smell. Don't forget the good old flower gels. Wow, we've got a diffuser, too. As well as toilet candy and some flowers. Add in some perfume. Oh, I'm getting dizzy from all the mixed fragrances. Poor Ken. Oh, it doesn't stink anymore. I love the new smell. Toilet time even comes with a toilet snack. Dip that cherry lollipop into the cherry sprinkles. There could never be enough sweetness in this room. Huggy looks like he's on the hunt. Go catch that fly. He got it. Wait, it's still alive. Huggy cannot let that fly get away. Look, this is how the fly sees Huggy. He looks crazy. <laughs> stupid, stupid fly. Oh dear, Huggy will destroy the whole house at this rate. What happened here? Dad, look what you've done to our house. Oh, I know. You should have used this bug smasher instead. 
The fly is high up on the wall, so Huggy has to climb up. But still, he can't reach that far. Careful! Oops! Give me that. Look, you can extend it so you can reach the ceiling. I'll show you how easy this is. See? Wow! Huggy is really impressed with Ella. Good job, Ella! Uh-oh, it seems another fly is headed Huggy's way. Oh, there's a fly on your forehead, Dad. No! Ouch! Huggy is so sweet helping Ella to tie her shoelaces. If only he was doing it right. Huggy is so frustrated. Tying shoelaces is so hard. Oh no, is he going to cut it? That's not how it works, Huggy. This is not good! Huggy seems to think duct tape will work better than shoelaces. Honestly, he isn't totally wrong. At least there's less risk of tripping, right? This is ridiculous! How am I gonna walk outside with this? Can she even walk with it? Let's see. I can't even walk properly! This is a big no! I know! I have these shoelace gadgets. They're so stretchy. This is interesting. They can work as shoelaces on any shoes. And they give you a fun, colorful style, too. Huggy Wuggy approves. He's checking if they're secure enough. Oops, I think he pulled too hard. Oh my! It's okay, Dad. Look, my makeup is matching the Barbie doll. Parents just really love barging into your room at the most random times. Oh my gosh, Dad! Look what you did to my wall! He swung the door open too hard. That's a really giant hole. Ouch! He closed the door on his fingers. What am I gonna do with you? Is that an egg yolk? Oh, I see. They're door stoppers. The doorknob will no longer hit the wall. This little gadget will prevent that from happening. And these cute animals will prevent any more finger crushing. Good job, Ella. Daddy Huggy is really proud of you. Will you look at that? Huggy is fresh from the bath. But that shower stall doesn't seem so fresh. Oh my! Look at all those bugs and all that fur! There's no space for a shelf to put the shower gel on. This means one thing. Huggy will just throw it in there. Uh-oh! The shower gel is spilling on the shower floor. It's Ella's turn to take a bath. I have a feeling she's in for a very messy surprise. Watch out! Wow! Why is the floor so slippery? There's nothing to hold on to. Ah! I'm gonna fall! Oh my! I hope she didn't break her hip. Daddy's gonna pay for this. But first, I need to do a hack. Cut a strip of double-sided tape and stick it to the wall. Peel it off. And now you can stick the shower gel to it. This is pretty convenient if there are no shower shelves around. I guess I gotta take that shower now. Look at Huggy getting so addicted to video games. Here comes Ella. Dad, I need your help. Can you tie my hair up, please? This is not a job Huggy is good at. He'd rather play games. But you won't know unless you try, right? This can get a little confusing. What is he doing? Ouch! You're hurting my scalp! This is basically a bird's nest! That's not how you tie hair up, Dad! Oh well, at least he tried! I can't go out like this! I look like a mess! That's it! Give me that! Hold up my hair and I'll do it myself! A little bit of spinning will do the trick! I guess it takes two to tie hair up now! This is perfect! Thanks for the help, Dad! You're the best! Well, back to the video game. But where's the controller? It's Ella's birthday! It's time for her to blow out the candles and make a wish. Okay, here I go! Yay! Oh dear, what is that knife for? Huggy is scaring all of the guests! Guys, he just wants to slice the cake! Stop being such a creep, Dad! I know! What is the birthday girl up to? Prepare two pieces of paper and fold one in half. Then fold the corner into a triangle. Keep folding. Do the same folds on the other side. Wrap the extra piece of paper around the knife like a handle. Can you put that thing away? Please don't stab us! Oh gosh! 
It's time to slice my cake! The paper knife works just as well as the real knife. There are plenty of slices for everyone. Mmm, it's so yummy! I love strawberry cake. Uh, why is there a worm on my cake? Oops, that was supposed to be Huggies. Now everybody gets to enjoy the cake. Hmm, I need some toilet paper. What? There's only one piece left. Look at all of this. Who wasted it? Looks like there's a trail. You better follow it and find the culprit. This toilet paper has been traveling for a while. I hope there are no wild animals roaming around. Where am I? I just wanted toilet paper. No way! Is that a huge dinosaur? It's so cold! Am I in Antarctica now? Back at home at last! Where is this trail gonna lead to? I think I know who's behind all this wasted tissue. Huggy Wuggy! Dad! Come here! Look what you've done to the toilet paper! You wasted all of it! Huggy is really embarrassed. Don't worry, Ella has a plan. Cut a piece of tape and stick it to the wall. Now every time he has to use some tissue, the tape shows how much he should pull. You get it now? This is how much tissue you should use when using the toilet. Let's see if Huggy learned his lesson. Good job, Daddy Huggy! That was a good meal. It's time to put all these dishes away. Oh wow, it's piling up. There's not even a space for the mug anymore. What will Huggy do about the dishes? It seems he has an idea. I know. What could it be? Wait, he's putting them in the toilet? That's not a dishwasher, Huggy. There's no way he flushed them. This is not good. I gotta be. What the? Why are all the dishes here? Ew. Uh-oh, Daddy Huggy is in trouble. Huggy genuinely thinks the dishes are clean. But it's all toilet water. Look, I washed the dishes using toilet water. Ah! I need to teach you a lesson. Come here. You're supposed to wash the dishes in the sink. What do I do with you? Oh, I know. The dishwashing gloves come with built-in bristles. All that's left to do is put dish soap on them, rub them together, and look, you can wash the dishes with your own hands. This will spare your fingers from getting wrinkled, too. <laughs> yeah! Huggy's eager to help out. It seems he has his own gloves to use. <laughs> Unfortunately, his don't have bristles. Huh? That's not how you… You know what? At least he's washing his hands and the dishes. Daddy Huggy is cooking for lunch. Is he making a sandwich? Wait, raw egg? Is it an omelet this time? It's time to boil it now, I guess. Oh no, that's hot. Huggy burned his hand. Ouch, it burned my hand. What happened? You burned yourself? Is that pot really hot? Let me check. Ouch. Like father, like daughter, indeed. I think I have an idea. Ella's on cooking duty this time. Who really is the parent here? Just relax and I'll cook, okay? Your sandwich is almost done. I think the meat is ready. Oh no, it's hot. Don't touch it. Calm down. I have this cute puppet oven mitt to help me open the lid. See, it didn't hurt at all. Huggy is really worried that Ella burned her hand. No burns at all. The puppet oven mitt protected her. Oops, that was Huggy's burned hand. Huggy needs to pee. Is he cross-eyed? The pee is getting everywhere. He's just making a mess. Oh dear, he won't even bother to clean it. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Is she going to touch that dirty toilet? I can't even open it. So gross. How am I going to use the toilet now? Oh, I know. What a cute froggy potty. It even has a spinning target. I'll put it up on the wall. Just like that. It's ready. Dad, come here. Here comes Huggy. Look at this froggy. This is how you shoot the target. Look how it spins. Huggy is definitely interested. Oh, I want to give it a try. And that's a bullseye. 
This gadget is so convenient. Huggy's having a lot of fun. Uh-oh, there's Lego on the floor. This is not good. Ouch! I think I got stabbed! Dad, help! Dad! Huh? My dad doesn't even hear me. What is he doing? Dad! I said I need help. Hello? Huggy seems too engrossed with his nails. Yay! What is that? So much earwax is sticking out of his ear. No wonder Huggy can't hear you. Good thing Ella has a solution. The good old ear cleaner. The wax is already leaking out by itself. Yikes, that looks like a worm. I hope this is just gonna be easy to pull out. Just one more bit to go. That was satisfying. Well, now we know the ear cleaner certainly worked. <laughs> Wait, what about my ears? Whoa! It's full of earwax, too. Like father, like daughter, indeed. You want a drink, son? I'll let you have a soda for now. Here you go. One glass of soda coming right up. Thanks, Dad. I'll just be reading here. Mmm. Huggy stole Aiden's drink. He finished it all. Wow, he must be really thirsty. That's mine! Dad, I need more soda. Huggy Huggy finished my drink. Oh, you. You don't have to make things up, son. If you want more, just ask. There's no soda left either. Dad must sacrifice and give away his drink. Unless there's another way to share the soda. It seems Dad has an idea. I know. Let's see what Dad is up to. He's gonna transfer his drink into the empty glass using a straw. Just look at that, it's working! Half goes into Aiden's glass. This is a smart way to share a drink equally. Here you go, another glass of soda for you. Wow, thanks, Dad. I suggest you drink it all before Huggy steals it again. Yup, here he comes. You're not fooling me this time. Aiden's going to finish it all before Huggy gets his hands on it. Yeah. Look at you. I knew you were the one who finished your soda quickly. Ha, <laughs> silly boy. Huggy Wuggy is accompanying Aiden in the bathroom. I'm done. I need toilet paper. Only full as much as you need. Like Mommy said. I think Huggy wants you to pull more. But this is enough for me. Huggy is such a bad influence. You're not supposed to pull all of that. This is not a good idea. Eh, I guess maybe we do need more. Uh-oh, Aiden forgot what mom taught him just like that. Oh no, he emptied the whole roll. Look at these scary mummies. But you know what a scarier mom is? The real one. What have you done? Oh my gosh, there's just tissue everywhere. Aiden, did you do this? It's Huggy's fault. Don't lie to me, young man. I know. I'll use tape so he won't forget again. The arrow serves as a limit. This way, Aiden will be reminded how much tissue he should pull. I hope Huggy will also learn his lesson from this. This is how much you pull, okay? That's right. Good job. Yay! You see, Huggy? This is how you do it. High five. Good job, son. Dad is so focused on his computer game. I need to leave. Honey, take care of Aiden while I'm gone, okay? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm gonna be late. Look after him, okay? Bye. Just go, go. Aiden wants to play with Dad, but Dad doesn't want to leave his computer game. Just, uh, why don't you go draw? Well, that's one way for Dad to focus on his game. Good thing Aiden has his own playmate. Is that a permanent marker? Stop. We can't draw on the floor. Dad, can you give us some paper? Just go and play. I think Dad's forgotten he has a son to look after. Huh? Huggy's too impatient for this. He's just gonna draw on the floor now. Oh dear. I hope Mom hasn't polished the floor yet. Aiden might as well just draw too. There's no paper coming anytime soon. I see, they've decided to play hopscotch. If only Dad was paying attention. Huh? What the? Why did you draw on the floor? Your mom is gonna kill me! No! We have to clean this up! It's permanent marker, unfortunately. Your fingers won't erase that. What is dad gonna do now? Oh, a puzzle mat! I know! Covering it up, I see. Puzzle mats are safer for hopscotch, too. And a great way to hide the evidence. 
Yes! Yeah. Mom's back! Hi, honey! What did you guys do? Looks like you had a lot of fun! Wait until she lifts up those puzzle mats! But for now, it's a secret! Wow! A blueberry cake! This is Aiden's favorite! Mmm! It smells so good! I want to taste it! But I don't think we're supposed to eat it yet! Huggy's got you! He really is the devil on Aiden's shoulder! Just a little taste won't hurt! Huggy is such a supportive friend! Mmm! So sweet! I want to have more! Now Huggy wants to cut a slice! Huh? Is my baby holding a knife? No! What if he chops off his fingers? Why do you have this? It's sharp! You might hurt yourself! Huggy told me to slice the cake! Huggy is just a toy! He doesn't speak! It's the box from the cake! Looks like mommy's got an idea! I know! Prepare a piece of paper and fold in the corners! Is she making a paper plane? Wait! This looks different! It looks like the shape of a knife! Get another square piece of paper and wrap it around to make a handle! It's a kid-friendly knife! But can you cut a cake with that? It works! Paper can be so sharp! Wow! Thanks, Mom! I can't wait to eat this! Mmm! So good! Smart hat, Mom! Here's your snack! Healthy fruits! I don't want this! I want candies! Candies? But no, you have to eat your fruits first! Okay, I'll eat some tangerine! Good job! I'll be back! Is she gone yet? Huh? Are those candy wrappers? Huh? Huggy's eating all the candy! This monster doesn't have a mom to make him eat fruits! Uh-oh, he's tempting Aiden! But mom said… You know what? It's fine! She's not here! Bye, fruits! This candy is mine! What? Oh my gosh! Did you eat all this candy? Hey, I told you to eat your fruits! No! I don't want it! Eat it? I'm not telling you again! They're just gonna play a push and pull game now! Oh gosh, what am I gonna do? Hmm, candies and fruits? Oh, I know! It's cooking time! First, pour the sugar, and then mix it with water. Let it boil until the sugar is dissolved. Next, dip in a strawberry, a slice of kiwi too, and an orange slice. And voila! You've got fruit lollipops! Wow! I can't wait to taste it! It tastes just like sweet candy! I love it, Mom! Mom is so proud of herself! As she should be! Uh-oh, here comes Huggy! He's gonna devour it all again! Those sharp teeth are gonna be needing a visit to the dentist! La la la! Dinner time! Veggies again? I hate this! Smells disgusting! Looks like Huggy is here to help! But I don't think pushing food off the plate is a help at all! What is he doing with the sauce? If mom sees this, you guys are done for! Is he drawing a heart shape in the sauce? Oh well! It looks cute! That looks like a carrot face! Add some finishing touches of broccoli to finish off the art piece! Yay! Did you finish your food? Oh my gosh! Why did you play with your food? Wow, this fork is spinning on its own! That's creepy! But mom just had an idea! I see she's making a food spinning wheel! Add some tomatoes, broccoli, and so many more healthy foods! What a smart move turning it into a fun game! And less messy too! The hand landed on the tomatoes, so he must eat one! He likes it after all! How about mom? She got carrots! Good job, mom! See? Eating healthy foods can be fun! It's bedtime! Daddy is tucking Aiden into bed! Go to sleep with your Huggy Wuggy! Sweet dreams! Good night! Ooh. Huggy doesn't want to sleep yet! Sure, but don't disturb Aiden! What are you doing with that pool noodle? Hey! Why are the lights on? I need a sleeping mask! It's too bright! But Huggy's jumping on the bed! Monsters have so much energy at night! Well, no sense going back to sleep! Aiden might as well play too! Yay! This is fun! What's that noise? Aiden! Why are you still awake? Oh, come on! I thought I put you to sleep! Go back to bed! Fine! Gosh! Oops! Someone's up again! It must be all that sugar! 
What to do? Aha! Uh -huh. A unicorn? This reminds me of something. Look what I got! A unicorn sleeping bag! Wow! That looks so cute! This unicorn will help Aiden go to sleep. You can unwrap it, unzip it, and turn it into a sleeping bag. Aiden fits right in like a burrito. Now that will give you a good night's sleep. Finally. Not even Huggy can wake him up. That unicorn is magical. Is there a spare one for Huggy too? It's time to do some gardening. This is mom's favorite hobby. La la la. I need another pot. I'll be back. Mom's gone. It's time for Huggy to come alive. Uh-oh, he's interested in the pot. No, that's not chocolate. I hope you don't grow flowers in your stomach. He wants Aiden to eat it too. Maybe just a little bit. This is a bad idea. What? No! Soil is not edible. You cannot eat soil, Aiden. But Huggy ate it. Wait, Oreos? Soil. Their color looks similar. I know. What is dad up to? Why is he crushing the Oreos? Oh, it looks like soil. This is amazing. Mmm, delicious. Can I try? Of course. Yummy, this is so good. Even dad loves it. One more spoon, please. I'm back. Wait, what? Are you guys eating soil? Oh my gosh, what happened to my boys? Oops, you got it all wrong. Aiden is a big guy. He can brush his own teeth. Or can he really? He's missing that chocolate stain. I don't know how to brush my teeth. Looks like Huggy's here to help. But can he really help when he can't even brush his own teeth? Oh my gosh! Did you even do any brushing? I did my best. Well, that won't do. Oh! Huggy Wuggy can help. I know what to do. Just wait. What is that about? Looks like Huggy can help after all. You're gonna need some beans and a glue gun. Looks like mom is making a game. She's giving Huggy Wuggy a full set of teeth. And dirtying them up, just like the real ones. Look, why don't you go brush Huggy's teeth? Wow, I'm excited. It's pretty easy when you're doing it to someone else. Yay! I wish they did this to the real Huggy. He needs it more. Now Aiden knows how to properly brush his own teeth. Yay! It's your turn, Huggy. Come here. No, please. Don't worry, Huggy. It will be painless. See? What do we have here? I think the Squid Game doll is having a sweet bath. Just look at those colorful M&Ms. Delicious. So many different candies. But wait, here comes the Nutella. Oh my. This looks like a mega dessert. And of course, the honeycomb. Oh, I get it now. This is the Squid Game doll's favorite snack. Teacher likes it. Yum. Oh, looks like Camilla had to put all our candy into this bath. Of course. She is taking all the candy from her students. Good job. Next, please. Oh my, now the bath is being filled with cola. That's a real sugar bomb, right? Ugh, this is not fair. Next. Oh, what is that in your hand? Oh no, the Squid Game doll just spotted the lollipop. She won't let it slide past her eyes. Sweet. I guess the kids are not really happy with their teacher's new rules. Let's see what happens next. I can't believe the Squid Game doll is so strict about food. No, that's mine. Give me that. No, you won't get it. The food is mine. Give it to me. Oh, you better hide that chocolate, Joshua. Or it's going straight to the confiscated food box. That's enough. Oh no, not the laser eyes. Watch out, everybody. Ah! My fingers, they're burning. Oh gosh, she melted all the chocolate. That's crazy. I don't want this to happen to my chocolate. What should I do? I think I have a great idea. Let's see what Joshua is going to do. First, let's melt this chocolate by putting it in the hot water. Once it's soft and squishy, you're going to continue the process. Grab a pair of scissors and cut one edge. Now grab some AirPods. Throw the real ones away. We don't need them now. Prepare the AirPod box and grab your melted chocolate. And don't be scared to fill both of the AirPods empty places. Fill them to the top. Isn't that interesting? That's it. Now shake it 
and freeze it. And there you go! You just made yourself a tasty pair of AirPods! Wow. Cool, right? This way, the teacher won't be able to notice that Joshua is sneaking food into class. I guess music never tasted so sweet. <laughs> okay, I am good to go. Uh-oh, the Squid Game doll is already scanning everything around. Let me see… no food. Remember? Yes, ma'am. I have no food with me. All clear. Come in. Yay! Phew, that was close. Nice food sneaking technique, Joshua. Lucky him! What are you so happy about? Mmm! What a delicious snack I have over here! Oh, so you think you're such a smart, sneaky guy? Oh my! Camilla has the AC remote! And she's making the room's temperature really high! 30 degrees? Just like on a really hot summer day! It's so hot over here! Wait! Huh? What is that? My chocolate? Oh well, melted chocolate is also really yummy! Ew, that's disgusting! It looks like you're eating something from your ear! Don't you remember that it's super risky to eat food in the doll's class? Huh? Where are my Pringles? I don't understand. Where did they go? Ah! My snacks! Oh no! The teacher noticed Joshua eating food in her class. No! My chips! They're all gone! I'm so hungry! I guess rules are rules. No food in class. Understood? Yes, teacher, I understand. Ugh, that's not fair. Good thing I have some left. Uh-oh. Ah, ah, ah. Did you forget something? Oh, yes. No food, miss teacher. It won't happen again. Seems that Joshua can't let go of the idea of having some food in class. There's got to be a way of eating without getting noticed. Hold on a second. Let's see what kind of sneaky way Joshua thought of this time. Grab a little tube of Pringles and a marker. Make sure you empty the tube. Now draw a half of a circle at the bottom of the tube. After the piece is cut out, it's time to decorate your tube. Now drop all your candy and snacks inside and create a false bottom from the lid. You have to cover your snacks so you won't get busted. Put the pencils and pens on top. And voila! This is how you make a pencil case with a perfect snack sneaking system. I feel like grabbing a few gummies. Easy. I have to be really careful so no one will notice me. Yum! This is the perfect DIY pencil case for secret snacks in the classroom. Are you eating gummies, Joshua? No way! I'm just drawing. Oh, just look at the teacher! She's writing so many things on the board. Seems that the kids will have to take notes really fast if they want to catch up with the subject. Well, not Joshua. Someone's a bit sleepy today, huh? At least Lydia's trying her best to follow the class. <sighs> I really want to go to sleep. <sighs> Whoa! When did that happen? The board is full of words! I won't be able to write everything down that quickly! The teacher is going to wipe the board soon! I know what I can do! Oh, that's smart! Taking a picture of the board! Now Joshua will be able to take his notes from the photo with no rush! What? No! No way! I still didn't finish writing everything down! No! See? I got everything! No problems for me! What? Hey! Please, let me see it so I can finish taking notes! Not a chance! Go away! That's my phone and my photo! Why do you have to be so unfriendly? Oh, look! Seems like Joshua is getting all sleepy again! Come on, Lydia! Maybe it's your chance! I know! I'm going to look at the photo while he's asleep! Oh, shoot! A fingerprint is required to unlock the phone! What should I do? Come on, think! I think I know what to do! What is she doing? Is that lipstick? Oh, I know! Lydia is trying to take Joshua's fingerprint using the lipstick! Now I just need to take a fingerprint using tape, so it'll stick to the tape nicely. I must be careful. Now let's put this fingerprint on my finger and unlock his phone. Let's see if Lydia's plan will work. Yay! I'm in! The fingerprint hack is working perfectly. Gotta send that picture of the board to my phone. Yes! Got it! Well, if Joshua wouldn't be so greedy, maybe the whole fingerprint mission wouldn't be necessary. Let's see what we have here. The kids seem pretty excited. Look, the Squid Game doll is having test results with herself. One for you. Good job, Joshua. Yay! I got an A+. 
And one for you. Bad. Very bad. Huh? Oh, shoot! F minus! No! Not an F! My parents will be so mad at me! Oh, careful! The tears will ruin the paper! See? It's dripping everywhere! Well, maybe I could make this grade a bit happier. See? Now it's not that scary. And sad for me anymore. Wow! Lydia turned the grade into an artsy drawing! Wait, I think I know this face from somewhere. Hey! It's not just a simple drawing. It's Huggy Wuggy! Yay! I like this way better. Now no one will know that I got an F on the test. See? Beautiful, isn't it? What's happening over here? Oh, wow! Oh my god! So beautiful! Who is he? What? I don't understand. I love him. I have a feeling that the Squid Game doll has a huge crush on Huggy Wuggy. Or maybe she is even in love with him. There you go. Your new results. What? I can't believe it! I got an A+. Plus. Wait, what? That's not possible! I should be the best student in this class, not you! This is stupid! La la la! I got an A+. Plus. I'm also the best! Well, it seems that Huggy Wuggy really was in favor of Lydia this time. Let me check inside. Aha! I knew it! No food in class! Please, no! The kids are still trying to sneak some food into class. The Squid Game doll is being super strict about it. Oh, here comes Jasmine. And of course, she has plenty of food with her, too. Oh no! I don't want my food to get confiscated! What should I do? I have to sneak it somehow. But how? Oh! I think I have a plan. Let's see if Jasmine's plan can fool the teacher. Oh, I think that's the principal of the school. And he is on his break, taking care of his hygiene. That's what a real boss does. Huh? Oh, but in order to brush his teeth, he has to take the mask off. Did you see that? Someone took the mask. Oh, my mask! It's gone! Wait, I think Jasmine stole the principal's mask. Let's see how this will go. Hello! OMG! The boss himself! Hello, sir! Move, please! Okay, whatever you say, boss. Go ahead. Phew. Wow, this is pretty risky. Uh-oh, is that the principal? Hello, sir! How can I help you? Just look at that fake tummy made of candy! This is such a smart move! Oh, so much candy! Here, take some if you want! Oh, no, no! No food is allowed in class! Rules are rules! Don't be silly! Look! It's me! Jasmine! Wow! That was a good one! You almost got me! I'm glad no one caught the kids! Now they can enjoy their candy in peace! What's that sound? Seems like someone is roaring? Oh, that's just Joshua's stomach! I'm starving! Let's see if I have any food hidden under my table. No food, just a bunch of old chewing gum stuck under the table. Guess I have no other choice! That's gonna be disgusting! No! Joshua, stop it! Phew! Right on time! Hey, how dare you! That was mine! Find your own chewing gum! Are you out of your mind? You found this under the table and now you want to eat it? I have another idea! Look! Take this lipstick! Take it! No way! I'm not going to use makeup! Go away! I'm hungry! I don't need your stupid lipstick! Look! Jasmine is eating her lipstick! Are you crazy? I don't understand! Okay, I'll take a little bite. Ew! Wait, it's not ew. It's yummy! Apparently it's not real lipstick! That's candy in a lipstick case! Now let's take a look at how to make this candy lipstick by ourselves. Grab an old lipstick. The first step is to make sure that there is no more lipstick inside of the case. So we need to scoop everything out. Just like that. Using a cotton bud, it's super simple. After you clean the lipstick case, it's time to prepare the candy. Grab some chocolate chips. Use white ones, then melt them. After you do that, grab some food coloring and put a few drops of red food coloring into the melted chocolate. Now mix it together. When the color of the chocolate is completely red, that means your chocolate is ready to go straight into the lipstick case. Be careful while pouring the chocolate inside. After the lipstick case is full, freeze it, and voila! You just made yourself an edible lipstick! Isn't that cool?
This is so delicious! I know! This flavor is my favorite! Careful! The teacher is waking up! She can't see that the kids' mouths are full of candy! Oh! Quick! Swallow the chocolate, Joshua! You! What do you have there? Food? No way, ma'am! Um, this is lipstick. See? Um, I put this on my lips sometimes. Isn't that a nice color? <laughs> <laughs> you look pretty! Jasmine is right! Red suits you! <laughs> okay, I must draw the honeycomb perfectly. I can do this! Ready? Go! Oh no! Poor Jasmine! Bad! Really bad! Oh my gosh! The doll is really toasting some bums today! Run, kids, run! That's going to be painful to sit! Well, I guess the crazy Squid Game doll has her own crazy teaching methods! She's going to get toasted as well! Next one! Camilla seems pretty confident. Will she make the perfect honeycomb drawing? Nah, not a chance. Come on! Why so cruel? That hurts real bad! Oh! Poor Joshua already knows he's going to get a taste of the same laser punishment! Oh, shoot! It's my turn to go! Ugh! I can't get off the chair! What's happening? Let me go, stupid chair! Whoa! Ouch! I bumped my chin! <laughs> you're so clumsy! <laughs> Watch where you're going, silly! Don't leave your face on the table next time! Seems that Joshua's clumsiness is amusing to the girls! What was that? This must be what made me fall! Hold on a second! What if I use this elastic for my drawing task? Maybe I could manage to draw a perfect circle with this thing's help! Here is my tool for drawing! You didn't say anything about not using tools, ma'am! Here I go! Let's hope at least one student in class can pass this task successfully! I can't believe Joshua really did it! He drew a perfect circle! Now the only thing he needs to do is to draw the inside of the honeycomb! Let's hope he won't mess everything up! ta -da! My perfect honeycomb! What a great job! Oh, here comes the teacher to evaluate his work! Uh-oh, here comes the laser eyes! No, please! Not my bum-bum! Huh? Look! The doll is writing something on the wall with her lasers! Huh? What is happening? Of course! I got an A! Yay! Well done, Joshua! Congratulations! You get an A+. Aww, he is so charming! I think Lydia has a huge crush on the Squid Game guard! Could it be a new love story? I need to check how I look! Let's see… Ah! My pimples! <laughs> no! Hold on a second… Of course! Concealer! This will help to cover the pimples! Makeup is really useful in this situation! No makeup! What? No! How am I supposed to cover my pimples then? The teacher is so strict! She is confiscating everything! I guess Lydia will have to come up with a different plan. Ugh! I hate these rules! What's that sound? Yum, yum, yum! Oh, someone has a bad habit of chewing their pencil! Ew, that's disgusting! Hold on a second! The pencil! I have a wonderful idea! Let's see what Lydia's up to! Grab a pencil and a blade. Now carefully cut out a tiny piece of the eraser. Now cut the other two edges of the eraser. We are making heart-shaped stamps! See? Isn't that cute? Now grab a lipstick and paint the stamp with it. You want the lipstick to be red. This way, the result will be the cutest! Almost there! When you are ready, grab the pencil and stamp the heart on top of your pimple! Just like that! Little hearts will cover the pimples, and it's going to look like a really cool makeup idea! You can also cut out different shapes out of erasers! Wow! Lydia looks amazing! Huh? Whoa! Hi there! Just look at her! Full of confidence and pretty hearts on her face! Oh, here is the teacher too! Aww, so beautiful! I bet that's not the right audience that Lydia was trying to impress, right? Oh, shoot. I better go back to studying. Well, at least it worked! What are these delicious cupcakes doing over here? And they have cute cards with messages on them! What is happening? 
Please don't leave us, Mrs. Teacher. We're going to miss you so much. Oh, what a sentimental moment. The teacher is saying goodbye to her students. Be good, students. So sad. Apparently, she was a really good teacher to the students. Bye-bye, teacher. Well, at least she left us some tasty cupcakes. Whoa, what was that? My cupcake. I know who has this kind of laser. The Squid Game doll! Of course! What does the guard have over there? What? No way! Is that… is that… A Squid Game doll? Uh-oh! I think she is going to be the new teacher! Attention! No more food in class! What? No way! This is impossible! No! What are we gonna do now? 